Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss about HTTP delete request call using Axios in React.js and this is lecture number 54. In the previous video we just discussed about the HTTP post request calls in Axios in Axios using React.js. So guys, you can see here uh, I have uploaded all the videos of React.js. If you are not subscribed to my channel, you can subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon and you can learn from all these videos about the react.js i've covered all the topics in react.js in quite detail with some demos and projects and also i have uploaded the source code on the github and in the last video we discussed about the post call using the exus but today i'm going to discuss about the delete call using the exus so let's get started so guys i'm going to commit this so we cannot view this ui so now you can see here again we can see this get calls but today i'm going to add some button here delete button i'm going to delete and make a delete exus call using the react.js so let's get started guys so all you need to do here you need to go here and add a delete button right guys so we can add a delete button here and i'm going to say it. i'm going to add some brs I'm going to add button here delete post right guys great so now I'm going to add some button here now I need to add some CSS because it's not looking good so I am going to add some CSS here the CSS I have already created some CSS for the button so now I'm going to actually use that CSS great guys so I can upload, I have uploaded already these videos on the GitHub, so you can get all the videos from the files and values from there. So I'm going to add one more BR because it's not looking much good UI. So I'm going to say it like this. Yeah, it's looking much better. So now I need to click on the delete button and it needs to make a delete call using the Axios in React.js. So what I need to do, and I need to work on the click button. So all I need to do is I need to, I'm working on on click. And I'm going to say it delete handler like this. Great guys. Okay. Here I'm going to write some code. Cons like this. I'm going to get some value and e tag e object. So now I'm going to set axios dot delete. So for delete, you can see here we need to pass the URL and uh, the value uh, in the value uh, in the query string. So I'm going to say it. Okay, I need to pass some URL. So I need to get the URL first. And then we can work on this delete part. Okay, great. So, you know, URL is same. Uh, you can see at the top. All I need to do is I need to pass the, like this. If I come here and, and now I need to pass the value. I need to pass dollar. ID, we can get the ID from here, and now I need to pass this tilde. And after when we read, uh, send this delete call, we need to check it then, and the response we get from the API, we need to check that, and we need to log that console dot log and response. And if we get some error, I can write here catch, and like this error. And I'm going to say it console.log. So I'm going to log the errors, right, guys? Great. So now, okay, we need to check the issue. Okay, great. It looks good to me now. So now, if I, if I go here and check this out, okay, I need to pass the ID first. I'm going to set post.id 
and for e object i'm going to say here like this because now i'm going to make it as a on click so i'm going to say it on click and i'm going to write the object here like this so it looks good to me now i'm going to say it like this i need to remove this okay great it looks good to me now now on on click i'm writing the i'm making a function here an ominous function and i'm going to say it uh, in the e object i'm going to say it, this particular object so now let's check it out okay great so now if i go here and i'm going to say it f12 okay great now if i'm going to click on and now we need to check this out if i click here i need to delete this post right guys so i click and now I'll wait for the api response so it looks uh, yeah we get the api response here so you can see here we got the status 200 which means it actually deleted the object successfully and in the data we didn't get any value no content main in the exios here when we write when we make the delete call that means we have deleted the object successfully so i can write something here by myself in the console dot dot the object deleted successfully so guys this is how we are actually working uh, with the delete and the pur and also the get call then also the post call so now your assignment i'm going to give you one assignment here it's it's very simple uh, that will show you how much you progress you are actually doing for the react js because i know the worth of the react js i, I will also suggest you all of you to work as much well, as much as you can on the react js and practice so make put and patch call using axios in react js this is your uh, assignment all of you so because guys uh, if you make all these things by yourself you are really going to learn a lot from this because i know uh, if we are practicing uh, from uh, these videos you can definitely easily uh, make this to calls because it's not very complicated it's very simple calls you can do it very easily and i i hope if you are really doing hard work you can and easily do it by yourself so thank you very much guys and don't forget to subscribe and like my channel and hit the bell icon thank you have a nice day